Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toy Escapades channel in Malaysia. I've been putting out a series of Halloween countdown videos over the last few weeks. A mixture of full-length videos and shorts and I thank you for your support in checking them all out. Tonight, it's video number 13, the last of the bunch and I'm taking a look at the vintage Terror Claw Skeletor from 1986. Okay, doing a comparison between the Terra Claw Skeletor face sculpt and the vintage Skeletor head. And you know what? The difference is actually quite subtle. Overall, the Terra Claw's head sculpt is a solid piece and has a glossy paint finish, while the vintage version is mostly soft rubber. Um, you know, for most of the releases, it had the soft head. You know, see, see that? It's just soft and squeezable. The Terra Claw's head, however, is a solid piece. Okay, it can't be squeezed at all, right? Don't even bother trying. Skeletor here is sporting the infamous back metal sports bra look. And even if he did get teased about it in some fan circles, hey look guys, you know, it's still got a skull emblem on it, all right? And that, my friends, is just totally metal. You know, the thing about this thing is that I've seen a lot of promotional photos, and even the card back artwork, I think for the vintage one, had it in pink armor. But the version that I have here is purple. So, you know, does anybody actually have the pink sports bra? Overall, this isn't the same basic body that the vintage Skeletor had. You know, as you can see here, the feet on the Terracross Skeletor are oversized, okay? It's like it's got more mutated bits to it, all right? It's a completely different set of feet. Now, the claws themselves are these really over-the-top gigantic pieces that you attach to Skeletor's arms. And uh, there is a fair amount of detail to them if you look closely, you know, and they do look pretty imposing. Um, and there is no actual supernatural element to the claws. Uh, they're just basically giant metal claws to slash at things. Okay, there's nothing magical about them. Uh, there has been some remolding done to Skeletor's arms and his hands, especially in order to accommodate the claws. And it kind of looks like his thumbs have been shaved off here, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm not actually sure why Skeletor was chosen to have this Terror Claws look. But if you were to make a wild assumption, claw-handed demon characters were pretty big in pop culture at the time, especially with the debut of Freddy Krueger in Nightmare on Elm Street from just two years earlier in 1984. So could Freddy have influenced the Terror Claws Skeletor look? Um, you know, it's possible. You know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Now, the figure's got this dial sculpted into the back here at the waist, and you know, you move it along to just get the claws, you know, just slashing up and down, okay, right? Just you know, in a frenzied motion, okay, I'm coming to get you, come to get you, yeah, get you, get you, get you, get you. Now, one thing about this uh, clip here on the back, uh, it, you can also actually move it, uh, you know, uh, to in order to get the claws activated. Uh, yeah, you can actually use that as something to hold on to, you know, while moving the figure along. But you're going to have to be really careful with this clip. You know, essentially, you know, it's, it's a pack that you use to attach the weapons to, uh, the dragon-headed weapon, but it's super fragile, guys. You know, don't even breathe around this thing, okay? It'll break. Now, you could also probably have Skeletor use those claws to type out like really long emails, okay? Yeah, like what he's doing here. He's just typing away. Uh, perhaps a letter to the Mattel Complaints Department. Now, another interesting accessory that Skeletor comes with is this sort of a pincer claw that's got the skull of some kind of a dragon on it. It's a pretty elaborate looking thing here for him to be holding on to. But it, you know, fits into his hand and you can use the same action gimmick to have this thing sort of like just flailing around as he moves his arm up and down, okay? Just thrashing away at the enemy. Now, you know, it, it does look like a pretty fun addition to the toy and uh, it is an interesting look visually. But you know what? As a character, Skeletor is some sort of a demon wizard. He's got access to magic that could destroy the universe, all right? You know, magic at his disposal, okay, to get the job done. Why would he need such huge clunky weaponry, okay? <laughs> Why? Why indeed? Now, for the full story behind the debut of the Terror Claws, you'll have to check out the accompanying mini comic, The Terror Claws Strike. I have a full review of this on the channel from some weeks back. I'll put the link up in the description, so do check it out if you haven't already and help to breathe some life back into this older video. That's right, just breathe some life back into it, just like the way the dead are being reanimated on this Halloween night. Ow! Wow, wow, wow!
Okay, now, the Terror Claw Skeletor was released alongside the Flying Fist He-Man, perfect companions, the two of them, you know, both with back metal parts and spinning weapons. Okay, they just go together so well. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, He-Man! <laughs> Wait! Not the Chrome Skeletor, I just had it polished. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay then. Alright. Okay. Okay guys, so that's my look at the 1986 Masters of the Universe Vintage Terraclaw Skeletor. A fantastic figure from my childhood that's due for a re-release soon in the Origins line. So hey, let me know what you think of the video, let me know what you think of the figure, and I'll catch you guys again real soon. Thank you.